Sperm whales are fascinating and highly intelligent creatures, holding the title as the largest toothed whales on the planet. They are often described with superlatives. They possess the largest brain of any animal, weighing up to 5 kilograms, can hold their breath for an impressive 1.5 hours, and are capable of diving up to 3 kilometers deep, deeper than any other mammal. Their communication is notably complex and elaborate, and they roam vast distances, from Arctic to Antarctic waters. Historically, sperm whales were considered the most formidable challenge for whalers due to their size and strength. Stories of wounded males fiercely damaging boats are legendary, inspiring the classic tale of Moby Dick, which has captivated readers for over a century. In their natural state, sperm whales are generally placid and curious, often approaching humans closely and even initiating contact, an extraordinary interaction. However, when feeling threatened or pursued, they can become as aggressive and dangerous as hippos. Dietarily, sperm whales primarily feast on squid, though they also consume fish. An adult sperm whale can eat up to a ton of squid daily. They locate squid using their sophisticated sonar capabilities, then open their vast mouths to engulf the squid, trapping them with their large, sharp teeth in their narrow lower jaw. These deep sea ventures are essential, as their preferred prey resides in nutrient-rich layers of the ocean. Squid typically reside around depths of 1,000 meters during the day, rising closer to the surface at night. This nocturnal behavior guides the feeding habits of sperm whales, who predominantly hunt during nighttime hours. In the morning, they rest and sleep upright, a unique sight resembling a forest of vertically positioned sleeping whales. Unlike other toothed cetaceans that sleep by alternating cerebral hemisphere activity in water, sperm whales sleep with both hemispheres resting simultaneously, akin to humans. Their sleep periods are short, typically lasting 10 to 15 minutes. Sperm whales utilize their spermacity organ which contains air bubbles, akin to a swim bladder in bony fish. This organ aids in buoyancy control and diving mechanics. In many ways, sperm whales mirror humans in their life cycle. They live long lives, typically reaching 70 to 80 years, with a pregnancy lasting approximately nine months. Reproductive maturity is reached around 13 to 15 years of age. Each whale exhibits its own personality traits, ranging from introverted to extroverted, choleric to phlegmatic, curious to bold, and shy to secretive. Highly social creatures, sperm whales live in cohesive groups that engage in all activities together, including hunting, resting, sleeping, and swimming. Females communicate constantly using their clicking language, while males are generally quieter. The birthing process of sperm whales remains largely unseen by humans. Pregnant females often join groups of 30 to 40 individuals and retreat to open seas, where they are sometimes followed by pilot whales who may prey upon newborns. A week later, females return with their calves to the hunting grounds. Sperm whales are enigmatic beings, still holding mysteries that elude scientists. One such mystery is ambergris. Known for its use in perfumery, ambergris was historically mistaken for sperm whale vomit. It is a waxy substance that forms in the digestive systems of sperm whales and is expelled into the ocean, eventually washing ashore. Scientists now hypothesize that ambergris is excreted via feces as fresh ambergris emits an odor resembling excrement, though definitive proof remains elusive. Nevertheless, what is certain is that ambergris is a rare secretion from sperm whales, resembling waxy lumps. Its rarity and unique properties make it incredibly valuable, often fetching prices equivalent to its weight in gold. Discovering ambergris washed ashore can turn someone into an instant millionaire. Ambergris has captivated human interest for centuries, primarily due to its enigmatic origins. In ancient China, it was believed to be the solidified saliva of dragons. The Persian scientist Avicenna thought it originated from underwater fountains, while a 17th-century Armenian author, quoted by historian Karabi Pakanian, speculated it was the sap of trees on Arabian islands. Locals on these islands, however, insisted it was found in the stomachs of sperm whales. One thing universally agreed upon regarding ambergris is its value. 
Throughout history, it has been attributed with medicinal properties used for treating conditions like epilepsy, asthma, headaches, and impotence. It was also added to coffee and tobacco, and burned as incense due to its fragrant aroma. Ambergris remains a substance of mystery and allure, both in its scientific origins and cultural significance. King Charles II of England esteemed ambergris as a superb spice, while the 10th-century Baghdadi geographer Ibn Haqqal recommended it as an aphrodisiac. During Renaissance Europe, ambergris was fashioned into jewelry, and Catherine de' Medici, wife of the King of France, famously wore gloves scented with it. Even during the campaign of Agincourt, English King Henry V cherished a tiny pomander case containing a ball of ambergris. Ambergris found favor particularly among perfumers, who discovered its ability to enhance fragrances and prolong their effect. Yet even today, the complete process of ambergris formation remains a mystery to scientists. Although confirmed to originate from sperm whales, the specifics continue to elude exact understanding. Ambergris is exceedingly rare, found in only about 1 in 100 sperm whales, or even less, with no definitive explanation for its occurrence. Former theories that linked ambergris to sickness, or exclusively to male whales have been debunked. Experts now speculate that ambergris may function as a protective coating for the sperm whale's intestinal lining, shielding it from irritation caused by indigestible squid beaks and gladii. The discovery of a massive 420-kilogram piece of ambergris inside a sperm whale in 1953 by British whalers highlights its occasional extraordinary size. Such finds are exceptions, as hunting sperm whales solely for ambergris proves futile due to its rarity. Instead, ambergris is more commonly stumbled upon washed ashore, where exposure to the elements over time transforms its unpleasant scent to a prized aroma, changing from black to golden or even white. In pursuit of ambergris, people have undertaken remarkable feats. In 1891, Australian fisherman Lewis Smith ventured into the decomposing carcass of a sperm whale, ultimately retrieving an 82-kilogram lump of ambergris from its stomach. His find sold for a substantial sum, demonstrating the allure of this precious substance. Similarly, in 1928, New Zealanders Fred and Frank Erickson, along with their son-in-law Bill Blair, discovered 85 kilograms of ambergris on a beach near Auckland. Their sale to a French perfume company for 8,000 Australian pounds each enabled the brothers to purchase their own farms, illustrating how a single piece of ambergris could transform the fortunes of those who found it. Ambergris remains a testament to nature's mysteries and humanity's enduring fascination with the rare and valuable. Blair wisely invested his share and became a successful investor. Similar stories continue to unfold today. In 2011, a resident of New Zealand discovered a 40-kilogram piece of ambergris on a beach, reportedly selling it for 400,000. Both the fortunate finders and the buyers typically keep details private, leading to varying expert estimates on prices. Currently, natural ambergris commands approximately 40,000 per kilogram on the international market. Perfume companies are the primary purchasers, using ambergris to create luxurious fragrances. Sperm whales, found in all oceans, contribute to ambergris occasionally washing ashore in various sea locales. Some regions, like the Bahamas, Maldives, Caribbean islands, and the Philippines, offer higher chances of finding ambergris. New Zealand holds a special reputation for producing high-quality ambergris attributed to the extended period ambergris spends at sea before washing ashore, which enhances its quality over time.